From his rose from his seat, took his hat off his head and bowed low before a lady, the wife of an American physicist. When he was told that her husband was studying at the Institute of Theoretical Physics, the University of Copenhagen, the incident happened on a street car in U.S. The deep bow was not to the lady or her husband, but to for Denmark's great scientist. Niels Bohr. The Danish people are proud of their shipping, dairy products, Hans Christian Andersen and Niels Bohr. Niels Bohr was born on October 7th, 1885. His father was a professor of physiology at the University of Copenhagen. Niels Bohr studied at the University of Copenhagen. When he was 22 years old, he was given a gold medal of Danish Scientific Society for his original studies on surface tension. Bohr studied electron theory of metals for his postgraduate and doctorate degrees. After receiving PhD in 1911, he went to Cambridge to study under J.J. Thompson, father of electron. But Thompson was not responsive. Later, he met Rutherford who gave him all the attention he needed and invited him to Manchester. The rutherford bohr collaboration proved to be very successful in the theory of atomic structure. Whenever Rutherford was asked any theoretical question by any other colleague, his standard reply was ask Bohr. Soon, whenever a question question arose, the saying went around in the laboratory, ask Bohr. For his model of atom, he was awarded Nobel Prize. Then he was 32 year old. He was already the head of Copenhagen Institute of Theoretical Physics. Albert Einstein said of him, nobody knows how the hand of our knowledge about the atom would be without him. Personally, Bohr is one of the most amiable colleagues I have met. He utters his opinion like one who is perpetually groping, never like one who believes himself to be in a position of definite truth. He went to Manhattan Project to do research. Though critical of consequences of research, he was asked to do on developing the bomb. He foresaw the necessity of the bomb, saying that it might make future wars impossible. That was Niels Bohr. Subscribe. Click on the bell to turn on notifications.